the Garen Park Novices Hurdle is next up then. And this is a three mile one furlong novice. And the top one is Sonning Eye for Darren Thompson. Atonement, Joshua Sutherland, October Sunset, Graham Clutterbuck, Bucephalus Idea, David Robertson, Mangum Doodle, Craig Allen, Prophets, Passion, David Hooley, Shaloon Adams and Ben Bonici, Hidden Persuader, Leon by Rensburg, Discoed Fields, Craig Allen and Spritzer Catherine for Thomas Rogers. So 10 this time then. As we get an aerial sweep of the track. And called in and away they go with October sunset. Still in the length at the start. And quickly opening up to two lengths. So maybe October sunset's going to be the one that gets the four or five length lead in this race. October sunset then with Prophet's Passion and Mangum Doodle. And then Disco Field. So the two crack on the horses are pretty close up. Oh, really close up in truth. Spritzer Catherine, just about the back marker. Looking for a way to get into that line. Almost like a synchronised race or something, a procession parade. With his October Sunset in the lead. From everybody else second, virtually. There's a three length lead, then four grand clutter box horse. Through the rain. Fields in the second. Mangum Doodle. Hidden Persuaders ride wide on the track. Shallow Adams and Bucephalus Idea. And now his near rail is Atonement. And the green jacketed Spritzer Catherine tracking that one. The two at the back are Prophet's Passion and the Grey. Sonning Eye. Oh, jumped up quite nicely on the outside. Passed a couple in the air. So they eventually got to that first flight. They're now racing to the second. Comes up much quicker. All oh, over that nice and again, Sonning Eye, a good jump, so we've an idea about that one. Looks like it might benefit from the jumps. But it's October Sunset in front by four or five lengths to Hidden Persuader at the centre of the track and Atonement on the rail. And the Craig Allen pair up the centre, Discord Fields and Mangum Doodle. And Charlotte Adamson. Sonning Eye and Spritz of Catherine, and then get to Bucephalus Idea and Prophet's Passion at the back. So, long distance novice hurdle then. He's obviously behind at the Spa Hurdle at Cheltenham, and October Sunset is four lengths clear at the moment. Discode Fields is second, and Atonement is third. Hidden Persuader is fourth, then Magnum Doodle fifth. Bucephalus Idea has now got the inside rail. On the inside of Spritzer Catherine with Shaloon Adamson. Wider still as they get over that one. Widest of all, Sonning Eye. Prophet's Passion still just tacking along at the back. If that one's got any connection with David Hooley's horse from earlier on in the day that sat at the back all the way through the race and then ended up winning by seven lengths, then we must keep our eye on it. They get over number six. And over that one they go with October Sunset. Clear leader up past the stands they go then. Past the winning post shortly. And then they'll be out for one more circuit of the track. An October sunset leads by four. The Bucephalus idea is now come right through in a second. With a Tomant on his inside and Hidden Persuader on his outside. Then the Craig Allen pair running together. With Mangum Doodle on the inside of Discoed Fields. Spritzer Catherine is wider still. And then the widest of the lot, the grey. Sodding Eye, Shadow and Adamson is on the road going the shortest way around and Prophet's Passion is still at the back with a little more than a mile and a quarter still to go like we said from that one earlier on in the day don't rule that out just yet October Sunset bowling along in front Bucephalus Idea looks to be going well in second a tone move around the outside in third Sodding Eye is getting closer as well the great Passion there starting to make a bit of a move, work his way through the field. An October sunset is still too clear. To 
atonement be set for thine ear and sodding eye. And among them doodling in and persuade up, as they get over number seven, which they're all safely over, spritz of Catherine is now, just shuffled to the back, and as Prophet's passion is just gently weaving his way through, and he's now gone past hidden persuade up, as they get to number eight, just jump there though by hidden persuade us, and regain that position. An October sunset only by a length now, Sonning Eye, who's been going well throughout on the outside, moves into second. Atonement is third. Gap them back to Bucephalus Idea and Mangum Doodle and Disco Fields. Then Prophet's Passion and Hidden Persuade. He wouldn't rule any of these out of it at the moment as they get over number nine. Maybe asking a bit much for Shallow and Adams and a Spritz of Catherine to play a part in the finish, but they still cured. An October sunset is a length and a half. Two lengths clear off. Sonning Eye is now gone second. Bucephalus Idea is third. Atonement is fourth. Then Disco Fields. Then comes Mangum Doodle, Hidden Persuader, and Prophet's Passion seems to be dropping away again. So it's October Sunset has kicked on again for home. He's three or four clear of Bucephalus' idea in second. Atonement now goes past Soaring Eye. Then comes Disco Fields and Hidden Persuader, and then Mangum Doodle, Prophet's Passion running on again as they come down towards the final couple of furlongs. Then there, and it's October Sunset who's still in the lead. Bucephalus' idea is getting closer over the third last they go. And suddenly they begin to bunch up behind the leader, October Sunset. Bucephalus Idea second, Disco Fields third, then Atoma, that was the second last. And now Bucephalus Idea takes it up as October Sunset gives way. It's Bucephalus Idea from Disco Fields, Hidden Persuader over the final floor. They go Bucephalus Idea, Atonement, Hidden Persuader, Sonning Eyes trying to get back into it as well. But now it's Hidden Persuader who's hit the front as they race up towards the line. And Hidden Persuader takes it from Bucephalus Idea, Sonning Eye, Atonement, Disco Fields. All the way back to Shaloon Adamson. And one or two of those in that race flattered to deceive for a while. And don't think he'd have put that much money on Hidden Persuader turning for home. Well, it's looking quite cosily in the end. As we take a look at the full finishing order, it's Hidden Persuader for Leon van Rinsburg, the winner. Bucephalus idea for. David Robertson was second, Sonning Eye for Darren Thompson was third, Disco and Fields Craig on fourth, and Atonement for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.